Hi everyone, we're going to be talking about percents on these sections um, from chapter 4 and let's get started. So to begin with, I'm just going to give you the basics. These are things that you've learned in the past, I know, but maybe need to brush up on, up on a little bit. And you do need to be familiar with these for this chapter and future chapters because we, you know, there's always some things thrown in where there might be some percents that you have to work with, decimal numbers, percents, fractions, and how they all relate. Okay, so to change a decimal to a percent, we basically are multiplying by 100. Now there's a shortcut, and so you don't necessarily have to show I'm multiplying by 100, right? Like I did here. The shortcut is that you just move the decimal two places to the right, and then put your percent symbol on there. So if you're changing something to a percent, it's going to look different, and it has to have that percent symbol. So if you leave off the percent, it does not mean the same thing. 87.5% as you see as a decimal number is definitely not the same as 87.5. So if you write it without the percent, you've changed the meaning. Let me give you a couple more examples on that. So if we convert 2.47 to a percent, multiplication by 100 is going to move the decimal two places to the right. And so it's 247%. Here's another one, six hundredths, and that would become six percent, right? So move the decimal two places, multiply it by 100 on your calculator if you want to. Sometimes that's helpful to make sure you get your decimal in exactly the right spot. As you see, we don't actually put the decimal here because these both became whole numbers. So if it's not a whole number, like this one was, right, a whole number percent, then you have to have that decimal in there. So next we're changing a percent to a decimal. So basically we're going backward from what we just did. This time we divide by 100, we take the percent symbol off and move the decimal two places to the left. So as you see here, right, 28.5% is 0.285 or 285 thousandths. 452.3% is the number 4.523 or 4 and 520 three thousandths. Now anything from one or above is going to be more than 100 or 100% or, or more. So one equals 100%. If it's 1.1, right, then it's going to be 110% and so on. So any uh, number that is more than a one, it starts, at, oh, I'm saying one, any number one and above will be 100% or more. Over one will be be uh, over 100%. And sometimes I just get tongue-tied trying to say that. Now here's a couple more examples just because I want to see show you that you know these can be any kind of thing. So this is a super small percent, right? 0.35%. And when I write it in decimal form, I have to move the decimal two places to the left, so it's 0 0.0035. 5 percent once again, we move that decimal two places to the left. You can put this on your calculator and do this, right? 5.3 divided by 100 would be 0 0.053. Okay, and then we have some more percent basics. So let's look at these, um, changing a fraction to a percent. Now we've already uh, worked with fractions in the past where we took a fraction and wrote it in a decimal form. So you should be familiar with this process. And then we just talked about how to write a decimal in percent form. So then you go with this step, right? So the numerator, five divided by 16, that gives us the point zero or point three one two five times 100, so that's 31.25%. Let's say we're going to convert the fraction 7 eighths. So we take 7 divided by 8, and that gives me 0.875. Move the decimal two places, so 87.5%. Okay. 
And on the next one, we're taking a percent to a fraction. We don't have to do this a whole lot, but I want you to know that your your calculator has this capability and you don't really have to do a whole lot. Um, but the first, what you do have to do is take your percent and divide it by 100, right? So here's an example, 12.5% divided by 100. And then on your calculators, now I'm talking about the TI-30X um, 2S, <laughs> the one that we use that I recommend for this class or, or that I ask you, you know, this is a good calculator to get. I know other, I know some students have different calculators than this, but if you can figure this out on your calculator, if you don't have this one, and then you have this on your screen right here, this is on your screen. You push second fraction to decimal, and then it tells you that it is the fraction one eighth, which doesn't look anything like 12.5%, but they are equivalent. And so that's why it's a handy thing to be able to do. And and you could figure this out, right? 125 over 1,000, because that's what that means, simplifies to 1 8th. Here is another one. <clears throat> now you truly need to try this with your calculator. <clears throat> you won't remember how to do this if you don't practice it a few times. So I want everyone to pause this right now and go through the process and make sure that you can do this with your calculator. Um, obviously, some of you know how to do this without put, using a fraction key or, or, you know, the it's a shortcut on your calculator. All right, so I'm going to talk about it now. We're going to divide this by 100, just 0.92. And then if we do second, and then that's fraction to decimal and that's actually um, on your calculators that's the PRB key so it's second PRB and that's where this is located and we end up with this fraction 23 twenty fifths and that definitely doesn't really look anything like 92 percent once again these are equivalent so you've just found the fraction that is equivalent to that percent of 12.5 no no 92. This one was 92 percent. Okay. Notice that we have this percent formula. Now there's all kinds of ways to set up percents and you may have learned this a different way. If you have a method that works for you, that is really okay with me. It's just, does it work? Does it really work? Can you set it up correctly? And I have taught this fraction type uh, problems in so many different ways in so many different classes and I really I think this is my favorite way now um, in my business math class we use a circle and you know we fill in this stuff but you know they're kind of learning some different things and so in this if you can find the part where it says is your original number is going to be right here this number is going to be whatever percent you have or the percent you're finding and then we always write it over 100 and so it's a proportion we set it up as a proportion so we solve it like the proportions that we did earlier in this chapter let's get started with this one so this one says we're finding a percent of of is a clue word for multiply so that means that we're multiplying the percent times the original and that helps you set it up but also this can help you set it up now there are some times where the wording might not be quite like um, as easy to figure out obviously but this one's a pretty straightforward problem so we're finding a percent of 35 that equals 14 we write it as a proportion 14 over 35 equals that's a percent right whatever x is is actually going to be a percent form so we'll put the percent on it and then we just cross multiply so cross multiply right we have 35x you don't have to put the percent here i'm just using it as an illustration of here's what we're finding equals 1400 and then we solve by division Right, we're always dividing by that number with the X. That's why we teach you proportions before we get to this section. And we get 40, and then we put the percent symbol on it. You have to remember that you're finding the percent. And also remember this, there will only be 1% 
number in any problem. So if you're finding the percent, you put the percent on there. If you had a percent given like this next question, then our answer won't be a percent. So you can only have the percent, percent there one time and hopefully that will kind of help you uh, figure this out. 24 is, there's our is, and then 19.2% of, right? So that's going to be of the original. Once again, I can show you that. This is my original, and that's my x. So let's write this out. We're going to have 24 over x equals 19.2 over 100. Now notice my x can can be any place here except where your 100 goes because the 100 is a standard part of our um, proportion. So the, that's always going to be there, but any of the other three, um, right, I can have an x um, in place of this 24 and so on. It can be any of those other three places. Let's cross multiply. So we have 19.2x equals 2400. We divide by 19.2. And then x is 125. So hopefully the solving part of this is going to be pretty easy if you've already practiced proportions. And, you know, you should do that before, you know, each lesson before the next one. Because some of the parts that I teach you may be relevant to the next uh, section. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. It's always best to do this in order. All right, here's our next one. 230% of 8.5. So this is my original number is there's my is so that's going to be my x where the is is located so we write x over 8.5 you put your percent in without the percent symbol because because that is how this is set up because it's got that 100 in there cross multiply so we have 100 x equals 8.5 times 230 which is 1955. We are dividing. And then we find that x is 1955. It's easy to divide by 100, right? You just move the decimal place like we have been on um, the practice, right? The basics of this and all. Okay, let's look at this next one. 0.5% of what? Okay, there's my original, my original number, and that's going to be my x. Notice it says is 11. So 11 goes in for my um, is. My original is x. I know the percent is 0.5. And then, of course, we've got the 100. We're going to cross multiply. So we've got 0.5x equals 1100. We are dividing to solve. So basically we're splitting this into halves, right? How many halves are there in 1100? Well, double that. So it's going to be 2200. Once again, when it comes to um, commas you can put the comma in or not you know it's kind of okay either way all right so i am going to stop this video here because i feel like with the next word problem we might not get through it in the two minutes i have le oh, i have one minute left basically i want to keep it under 15. so we'll pick this up on the video two